Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. It's time for me to share how I farm Diamond North and Diamond East with all of you. I've been doing this for quite some time now. This is how I managed to get my epic mount on all my characters so far really fast. Um, so let's just jump into it. The first pack here, you need to go fast and pull. As, as soon as you enter, you need to start the pull. Otherwise, uh, you will lose this pack of dogs, the first pack that's uh, patrolling around. So pull it with your wand, fire blast the next pack, and you can counterspell the third pack. And then you just wait here next to the dot, as you can see on the ground where I'm standing right now. And then what I like to do is utilize my blizzard by casting a rank 1 blizzard into max rank blizzard. Unfortunately this run, run when I was recording, one of the dogs uh, resisted and got past my blizzard. This usually never happens but of course when recording it is what it is. So what you see I'm doing here is just max ranking uh, blizzard and uh, I just basically do that till they die. It's really really simple, it's really easy and I bet everyone here can do it. At least now with this guide I hope you will realize how easy this is and uh, it's just another nice Q4 or 5 gold extra per run minimum uh, of Diamond North. So the reason why I decided to bring in Diamond North in my Diamond farming is that lashers take about 6 to 7 minutes to clear total which gives you a long lockout. So I kind of wanted to min, min max how can I make more gold without uh, being unable to play the game. So this is what I kind of came up with. Just farming the dogs in here for nice grey, green and blue items. And sometimes they can drop lip rums, they can drop traveler's backpack, they can even drop epics and blue items as well. So they have a very nice loot table so I definitely recommend you to bring in these. And should you not get any greens or any other items than just greys, it's a guaranteed a full run here of scarabs and no, on um, and these dogs is a guaranteed minimum two to four gold at least. So you can see my add-on kiwi farm here I'm using just so you ha can have an idea of how much gold I actually will make each run and uh, how much gold I will make per hour. This will also show you that in one run I uh, kill up to 129 mobs total for both Diamond North and Diamond East, which is 129 chances of really good items. So usually per hour I get like uh, one to three travelers backpacks for example, which is really nice. Alright, so this pull here, let me explain. You see I'm pointing towards the edge and then I blink. The reason I do this is that Sometimes you can do it perfectly so the scarabs won't pull and you can kind of pull them with ease. But this time when recording obviously I got too close and they pulled so I had to be very fast on pulling the third and the second pack with counterspell and fire blast again. And then again as you can see I just utilize my blizzard spell and I just uh, you know use this U formed uh, ledge here and kill them easily. They have a very low HP, however though, they have some really nasty debuffs that stacks and can kill you. And they also hit very hard for a, a very low HP mob. So be careful, don't get too close to them. Try this out a few times and get uh, adjusted to it. As soon as you got this farm down, you will make so much more gold to your just lasher farm. Alright, so after we looted this, you can just evocate, this is basically the only place you're gonna use evocate. So just uh, evocate here, get some mana fast, and then we start legging it to the other instance. If you need to vendor just around this pack of orcs to my right, if you go down the tunnel there, it requires the key by the way. If you follow the tunnel all the way, there is a vendor where you can sell all your items after four or five runs, just so you know. Anyways. We're moving on to Diamond East and you can see the road I travel is just straightforward, just moving in there. Sometimes there is uh, some PvP engagement out here. That means you just have to, you know, do your thing and kill the Horde or the Alliance or whatever faction you play. So that's how, that's what it is. Uh, anyways, as soon as you enter Diamond East, you instantly have to move again. This is all because of the patrolling and such. So I dropped down here, you saw the crack. 
uh, on the ledge. This is where I drop and I use my blink so I don't take fall damage. So wait for this patrol to uh, pass by. Once this patrol is passed by, you can start doing the pull. I'm pulling four packs at a time. So this run in Diamond East only takes a couple of minutes. It's really, really nice. So I won't pull the first pack and then I fire blast this pack over here on my left and I body pull this one. Then I blink here between the rocks and I pull this pack with my counter spell and then I go into my ice block. All right, so as soon as I have stacked all these and you can look on my add-on, when you see a nice amount of hits, like 14, 15 hits going off, that's when you come out of block, you know that and you just blink or run away and then you can start doing your blizzard. Usually these mobs only take two blizzard, full blizzard uh, durations to, to die, otherwise you can of course use the uh, Frost Nova, Flame Strike, kind of cold, a cane explosion technique or whatever. So after looting these, you can see all the herbs and such and gathering, there's a lot of nice green items in. And if you have herbing in here, you can also pick up a few green foil and grum spot and such. So these herbs right here is basically what I'm hunting for. You saw my Dijon add-on go off. That's because there's a lot of items that also drop like peace bloom, and silver leaf and such, which is basically worth nothing. So I just have my add-on delete that. So I moved this specific way of two reasons. One, it's safe. Second, you can see there will sometimes be a book spawn here. Books are not worth that much anymore. However, if you manage to get a Foros or something else, they can net you an extra 50 gold or maybe just a few extra gold. And the 50 gold is for the Foros, by the way. And this over here, as you can see, there's also a book spawn here, which I highly recommend you to check. You need to go here anyway to pull this uh, pack behind the tree. So I won't pull this pack, but before I won't pull this pack, I need to check the patrol coming up on my left right now. It has to start moving away. So you see, now that it's moving away, I do my pull with my wand. I move around this route here. It's very important, otherwise you will pull the big elite boy. Then I won't pull this guy and I blink away. You need to time it for the patrol and you counterspell this pack. Cold snap, remember to cold snap here, fire blast this mob and then you go into a block. This is a safe spot. You will not pull anything here. Again, look for a big stack of immune hits. Do your Nova, do your rotation and that's it. Congratulations, you've beaten the game. Now you have learned to manage, now you have learned to make at least raw gold, 50 gold per hour minimum. With all the Traveler's Backpacks, with all the nice green items, whatever drops in here, that's additional nice gold to your farm. Which also means, like, I would say, even though my Kiwi farm says 120, 130 gold per hour, I would say this farm is minimum 75 gold per hour. This is what I personally think, this, my experience tells me that this is minimum 75 gold per hour if you utilize the auction house with all the nice herbs that drops, traveler's backpack, some of the green items in here can also sell for a lot like, you know, off the eagle can sell for a few gold, frozen wrath, shadow wrath, all these nice items. And also if you just get some nice green weapons and sometimes some blue items, etc, etc. But mainly your major income in here is all the gray items as you can see in the uh, bottom right of my back right now. These items are the money maker in here. So hit the reset button. This is it. Subscribe if you like my video, like the video, uh, comment, all that jazz and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.